Gibraltar is growing, and not just overground. Beneath our feet, service corridors deliver essential utilities to homes and businesses, such as water and electricity. The east side development could see close to 10,000 people living in the area, but with a centuries-old sewage network in town which becomes stressed at times of peak flow, technical services realised they're going to need a bigger pipe. The east side development, like you say, is, is, is a major sort of catalyst for uh, delivering your services to the eastern side of Gibraltar. If you, if you look at sewage, for example, initially, then the first thing we, we need to do is put in place the, the, the system that will collect this sewage from, from the east side and pump it all the way to the main sewer. Plans for the east side sewage transfer system have been submitted to the Development and Planning Commission. This consists of a four kilometre stretch of pipe that will pump the effluent all the way from the east side to the south before merging into the main sewer. It's a four kilometre long route that will start just by the existing sewage pumping station behind uh, beach terraces, go all the way along the east side, through what we call the east west tunnel, the one that goes on Sandy Bay to, to the dockyard, then up along uh, Roja Road, Cumberland, until eventually it will discharge at Roja Parade, where a new, very deep shaft will be constructed to intercept the, the main sewer, the existing main sewer. That will be about a 10 metre deep shaft, quite, quite a complex uh, civil engineering uh, project that needs to be done there. Um, and that will service via two uh, new pumping mains, quite large diameter, and they will be buried in ground. So when, once they're, they're there, nobody will notice they're there. And that will take, we reckon it will take about two years to, to deliver that. The new east side development will create over 1,300 residential units plus commercial premises as well across 160,000 square metres of land. Then of course here on Devil's Tower Road you already have a hotel, Beachview Terraces, we've got Hassan Centenary Terraces as well as new developments such as the E1 and Forbes Quarry. That's a lot of flushing toilets. The works will inevitably impact traffic flow, but measures will be put in place to minimise disruption, such as allowing access at all times to residential and commercial units, with no more than 50 metres of continuous open excavated trench at one time. The designers have strived to keep the, the new mains at least on one lane or the other, so at least you can always have, you always have traffic being able to, to flow through it. Um, but it will be disruptive. It was disruptive in the mid-90s down Queensway. Um, but it's one of those things that just has to be done. Otherwise, you know, it cannot be serviced and, and, and you, need to, you need to construct these things. The east side sewage transfer system has already gone out to tender, so there's light at the end of the tunnel, with a project expected to take two years to complete.